The 2015 Telstra South Australian Business Women's Corporate and Private Award winner is, it's fantastic, Michaela Webster, <laughs> Perrigan Corporation. probably going to do the ridiculous thing and weep or something. I think this is about the only thing I've ever won, so that's awesome. Uh, Stella and Ashley, it's been awesome to meet you. We're often so busy, uh, and I really look forward to learning from both of you in future and keeping in contact. It feels like when I, it feels like when I started my first real job, not on my CV, at around the age of 20 that the Telstra Women's Awards were there. In the far, far distance, like some kind of glimmer of reassurance. At the time, I can recall, it was a symbol of hope and professionalism because my first job, again, not on my CV, was everything you would not hope for your daughter. Yes, it's not even worth me thinking about. But 21 years later, and having been through the awards process, I can't believe how genuine it is, how important it is, how ahead of its time it was. You really have to be part of it to understand, so I won't rave on about it. But this also extends to Telstra's partnership with News Corp and the Commonwealth Bank. They've also made a valuable contribution to the women in this room and thousands of other women and people in Australia. I'm in awe of this program. Well done. Having worked nationally and overseas, I seriously believe that if you can work, make it work in South Australia, you can do it anywhere. Here in SA, we're a hot house of talent and drive, as is evident tonight. My experience has been that we work harder to make businesses succeed with a lower population and a very challenging economy. At On The Run, somehow I've been lucky enough to have found an outlet to try to make a contribution to make things that I see unfair in life a bit fairer. It's the deeper values that we share as a team, community, or in collaboration to make things happen that excites me. I don't think you can work as hard as, well as we all do and spend so much of your life doing it if you're not meeting your personal values along the way. It excites me to be part of a culture that our team has called a meritocracy. That's somewhere where we, we recruit based on shared values. Where over the last decade, not by design, but based on merit, we've had more women than men in leadership positions. Where we find and train our team based on attitude, not on education. And Rosemary Pesh is here tonight, who's our amazing head of training. She's a mother, she's a grandmother, and I think any of us would be very happy, Rosemary, to have our children in your hands where we enjoy working with people across more than 25 different nationalities. It truly feels like a fair place where anyone can become anything and there's evidence of that throughout the business. Thank you very much, Jasmine Shahin, who's representing the Shahin fa family tonight uh, for being here and my boss, Yasser, who is an absolute legend, who's given me the opportunity and our team the opportunity to live our values and to see what we're capable of. Thank you to the OTR team because it's those South Australians serving customers every day that have built the business. The incredible team I work closely with every day is here tonight. You teach me, you challenge me, you inspire me and you humble me. Thank you to all of our partners. Thank you, Ben. Uh, Kate Berry nominated me and she also introduced me to my partner, Ben. So Kate, I think I owe you. Uh, and my son, Luke, who uh, we started this journey together when he was five months old and I was a single mother at the time. And uh, at 12 years old, he's with me tonight and he can inspect a store better than I can. He, you know, he's just, all of our children, uh, aren't they incredible? It is a true partnership. So thank you, Luke. On behalf of the finalists, thank you to our mothers. I know it felt like we were all trailblazing something and we have been. Many women had to leave work when married, even in the early 70s. And despite this, somehow, only a generation later, we feel we can do anything. Thanks.